Is it possible to uh, take a walk next door to the lab sure, and possibly sure. film some of the uh, some of the things that we yep. test all of our kava on? Sure. Very well, thank you. So this is our lab. I'll show you a few things. First of all. We want to develop a very simple colorimetric test. So basically, basically, let me find. This is noble kava, this is today kava, this is Vishmania. Okay? This is an acetonic extract. So you can see that you have different colors and if these different colors they correspond to different chemical compositions. Now what we are working on right now is the scientific demonstration to explain why you have a nice yellow in noble kava and why they are darker in the wrong varieties. This is our objective. Once this will be uh, done, demonstrated, what exporters or buyer like you in the US will be able to do is just to buy some uh, kava, grind it into powder, mix it with acetone, shake it, and let it rest overnight. If you have a light, nice yellow, you can tell your wholesaler or your importer or the guy who is trading with you, oh, okay, that's a good kava. Oh, no, I don't want this kava. I want this kava. Okay, so basically we are trying to simplify the system to make sure that uh, in five or ten years from now people will be able to double check easily what they are buying and what they are trading with. Now, does the same hold true for uh, ethanol extracts? Because yes. there is a lot of tincture ethanol, manufacturers. Ethanol, any solvent extract, you will always have these differences in colors. Uh, we are working on the identification of the molecules uh, responsible for the color right now. This is what we are doing.